doing today, man? A little tired, but happy to be here. It's a beautiful day. So I texted Katie and was like, hey, you mind if I go fishing for a little bit in the morning? She's like, I don't, but I really wish you'd get some sleep and not die. And I was like, sweet, I'll see you later. <laughs> going to be a little opportunistic today. Um, we've got some spots that have been marinating for a few months that I want to check to see uh, if they've made fish. What are you doing now? <laughs> I'm putting numbers in my machine to the uh, secret spots. I said it's a horrible day. I know, but I think, I think if we persevere, it might work out for us. All hail the mighty king of the boat. <laughs> See, if you want, you can uh, take that rod that's over there and just kind of line cast right into here. Work it fast, work it fast. There we go. Got him on. Woohoo! Very cool. Oh yeah, baby. Some bait, huh? So what will that bait be good for cobia? Uh a big cobia. Oh yeah. Hello, Mr. Bluefish. What you got, man? Got a little cobia on here. We got a wad of ten. It's interesting, he's got that white pattern all over him. You see that? Beautiful fish, man. Dang. I got that boy tight. It's a gaffer. I'm gonna need you to take the rod to the Oh, he's valid. No, he's not. Oh yeah, that's the bigger one with the gas inside. So what do you usually, like, if you're out here on your own, what do you think about? You mean like? Just life, you know? Just like when you're out here on your own and oh, yeah. of it all. Oh yeah, when I'm fishing with people, I'm thinking about other stuff. Fishing is almost a calming effect or a meditative effect for me. And that in focusing on, you know, the pursuit, I'm able to think about and, and work through and dig deep and unpack a lot of thoughts and emotions. There's people who don't fish, right? Like, they wouldn't consider themselves fishermen, but they do fish with their dads, with their brothers. You know, they, they go out like once a year or whatever, go on a fishing trip. It's not something they think about at work all year or whatever, but then it's like, oh yeah, no, in July, me and dad and my two brothers go down and we go snapper fishing, you know? It's just kind of, you know, or, culture kind of holds that special place with people and ironically it's the exact opposite of that for me I fished a little bit when I was a kid with my brothers and with my dad not so much but tell you what Friday when I took my nephew out for his birthday my, my dad came along that was the first time my dad has been on a boat with me in 20 years um, yeah it was, I was, it was kind of special you know to have my dad on board 